Monday the 10th of August was the deadline set by Borussia Dortmund for Jaden Sancho. That's now passed. So what the hell has happened? There's a lot to cover. I'm going to cover it all, all the latest from Dortmund and what they said and from Germany in their press. All of what United are leaking to the British press. All the latest from Fabrizio Romano on Jaden Sancho and his move to United. There's a lot to cover. I'm going to cover it all to help you understand exactly what has gone on. So please drop a like on this video if these sorts of videos help you understand these sorts of transfer situations, especially with Sancho, because it's starting to get complicated. But let's run through it all together. It all started on Monday when Jaden Sancho was, of course, part of the Borussia Dortmund squad that flew out for their pre-season tour preparations. Of course, Sancho was going to be on that plane. So the sort of minor meltdown that happened there was a bit irrelevant. He's a Dortmund player. He's contracted. He was always going to be part of that trip. But now what happened next was Michael Zork, who is Borussia Dortmund sporting director. He held a press conference where it was expected that he was going to say a few things about Jaden Sancho. And he did. This is what he had to say. He said, we plan with Jaden Sancho. He'll play for us next season. The decision is final. I think that answers all of the questions. And he went into a little bit more detail and revealed that we adjusted Jaden Sancho's salary to match his performances last summer. In this context, we've extended the contract until 2023. Michael Zork putting all the cards on the table there. He's staying at Dortmund. The decision is final. Dortmund absolutely doubling down on the position that they've been in since day one. And we expected surely to hear nothing else from Dortmund. Nothing's changed from their point of view. United haven't given the cash that they want. So Sancho stays. Now the contract extension, that is interesting. That explains why Dortmund have been so staunch in their position because they aren't actually under pressure to sell him this summer. They could hold him for another year and next summer his value shouldn't change too much depending on what happens this season. But that bit was a new bit of information that nobody really knew about. But Michael Zork, he talks a lot, a hell of a lot. And he's talked previously about other players as well. And this was the first thing that United fans have jumped on. Michael Zork, can you really trust what he said? Rewind to 2017, when Usman Dembele was linked with a move to Barcelona. Michael Zork came out, said that Dembele's going nowhere. Dembele will play for Dortmund next season. Of course, two months later, he was sold to Barcelona when the right price came in. So Michael Zork has massively backtracked. Well, I say he's backtracked, but it just goes to show that previously it's meant absolutely nothing, that it's just part of the game of transfer poker that Dortmund seem to play so well. Now, interestingly enough, with Michael Zork, and I think his name is Hans Jochim Watzka, who are both directors and part of Dortmund's board, who are not board maybe, but part of the, the top level of administration at Dortmund that are involved heavily in these sorts of deals. Albamiang, he was a player who left Dortmund after you know signing a new contract and then being held for another year before he finally got his move to Arsenal. He went public previously to just label Dortmund's negotiators, Dortmund's top level as clowns. And he went public and he wasn't ashamed to go public. So it goes to show that Dortmund's tactics like this, like, like they're doing with Sancho, can piss the players off that are involved. It pissed Aubameyang off so much that he went public. Could they do the same thing to Jadon Sancho? Now, if they really dig their heels in and basically block a move, yes, it could. Because the fact of the matter is, Dortmund are a selling club. Dortmund will take their staunch position in public that a player will not be sold. They will then sell that player. They will then replace that player with a younger talent, build that player up and sell him. It is their business model. They can't deny that because the facts are all there on the table for all the players that have left that club and all the players that have come into replacement. They do it very, very well. But they're doing the same thing with Sancho that they did with Aubameyang, with Mkhitaryan, with all these different players before. They aren't for sale unless you give us the right price. That's the same situation with Sancho. So don't just be fooled into thinking that it's all dead in the water. I don't think it's dead in the water. I really don't. But Dortmund are a match for Woodward and Judge in these negotiations. But Sancho, as I said, if they piss Sancho off, could he do something? Well, Daniel Harris, he writes for The Guardian. He's suggesting that he'll put in a transfer request. And I've said this all along. 
If Jadon Sancho really wants to force this move through and go public with a transfer request, it brings the advantage back to United. I don't really think he'll do that, but that is what he could do if he's pissed off enough, like Aubameyang was. But what is Fabrizio Romano said? Of course, we all listen to the godfather of United transfer news. And speaking on CBS Sports News, he gave his own update after the Dortmund press conference and what's going on with Sancho. Oh, hello guys, we are speaking today about Jadon Sancho again because Manchester United may target on transfer market is still Jadon Sancho. They feel frustrated today after Borussia Dortmund have been very clear with their director today speaking, Michael Zork. He said they want to keep the player for one year more, one season more. And today the director also told the player will not leave the club. But Manchester United are not going to give up. They know that Borussia Dortmund want money, won 100 million euro, more 20 million euro as add-ons. So at the moment, this is the problem. The final fee between Manchester United and Borussia Dortmund, personal terms between Jadon Sancho and Manchester United are agreed. So the club will try again to sign the player on next week. It's clear because today Borussia Dortmund said we don't want to sell the player, but Manchester United are not going to give up. Jadon Sancho is the main, the priority player for next season. So Fabrizio there saying, I suppose what we all knew, United will be going back in for Sancho. Nothing has really changed on that. Dortmund's stance hasn't just, oh look, they're not going to sell him. Let's move on to somebody else. Kingsley Coman, he'll do. United still wants Sancho. He's their number one man and United will go back in for him. Now the interesting point here that Fabrizio raises is that United are starting to get frustrated at the slowness of the negotiations because of Dortmund's insistence on using intermediaries rather than United and Dortmund speaking directly as a club there's middlemen and that is what is annoying United and what's interesting here about Fabrizio saying that is because the brief came out from United as I said the brief always comes it's so obvious when the brief comes maybe they should make it less obvious but James Ducker Simon Peach Simon Stoney James Robson all saying the same thing like they did a few days ago when they all had the brief from United. It's so obvious when it happens, it really is. Saying that United are indeed frustrated at the lack of pace in these negotiations. And why can't we just deal with United and Dortmund directly? Why do we need these intermediaries to do this transfer? That's kind of understandable, but Dortmund have done it before and they'll do it again. And I do find it absolutely hilarious that the idea of Ed Woodward is pissed off at slow negotiations. Come on, man. Pot, kettle, black. Woodward is the king of it. And he's only pissed off because he doesn't want to pay the price that Dortmund want. It will be very simple and very quick negotiations if you just pay what Dortmund want. Just get it done if you're that pissed off. But you're not. Millions mean more to you than signing players. Winning a transfer battle by getting a couple of million off is a bigger win for Ed Woodward than actually signing the player. And that's why these negotiation standoffs happen every single damn time with United. And it's happening again with Jadon Sancho. And my opinion on this whole Sancho situation hasn't changed. I said at the start of last week, I'd be very surprised if we signed him by Monday. We didn't. So I'm not surprised about that. But I think United will sign Sancho. I think it will just be dragged out as we all expected it to be, didn't want it to be, but realistically thought it would be. And it's happening again. I hope, I hope to God, that we can sign him before, I think the 12th of September that the Premier League returns. So around about a month from now, football in the Premier League is back. So to have Sancho before that is crucial, really, because we've seen with Bruno Fernandes the impact he's had from January and what could have been if we signed him in the summer. We can't do the same thing with Jadon Sancho, surely. Learn from your mistakes, United. Get the shit done early. It hasn't happened so far. But Dortmund are laying it all on the table. They are doubling down on the stance that they've been at since day one. He's staying. Unless you give us the right price, then he can leave. They've done it with Dembele. They've dug their heels in with all their big players that leave. But all the players leave Dortmund. They get the money they want. They replace them and they move on as a club. The same thing will happen with Jadon Sancho. How much and when it's agreed, I don't know. But that's my own opinion. As, I, as I've covered in this video, Lots of updates from Dortmund. They're staying staunch on their stance with him. He's staying unless United come in with the right price. United seemingly getting pissed off at the slow negotiations. That's hilarious, but I do understand that. Take the intermediaries out. Why can't United and Dortmund deal with it directly? Let me know if you know why in the comments below. Fabrizio Romano confirming everything and saying United are going back. So this will drag on. 
And any more updates, of course, I will bring them to you. But what's your gut saying about Sancho? Is it dead in the water? Can United still sign him? Will United still sign him? How much would that be? 100 million, 120? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope this video helped you understand everything that's going on with Sancho, everything that has happened with Sancho. So please drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. Until next time, though, take it easy. <laughs>